right guys, how's it going? East Bay Anglers here. We're going to do what we've been doing. We're going to talk about a product, a particular lure, a, a bait. It's a swim bait, soft plastic. Uh, it's one of my all-time favorites. I mean, there's a lot of favorites. You know, everybody loves a Kite Tech. It's hard not to. Everybody loves a Huddleston. It's hard not to. You know, uh, this is one of those, but nobody really knows about it. Nobody's really aware and if they are they're trying to keep it a secret but this company it's uh you know it's got some really good uh color options and the bait we're going to talk about today is the swimming shad eye sounds kind of a like a weird name it's in a three and a half inch size that's my favorite the one that i'm we're looking at right here you know, uh, they got them smaller, they got them bigger. Um, I just, you know, I can't believe, you know, first of all, how many fish I've caught on this, how many big fish I've caught. And, in you know, I've only been fishing them maybe a little over a year, uh, maybe a year and a half. So, <clears throat> been through each season had it uh, tied on, fished it, you know, and uh, fished it different ways, caught fish, you know, mainly two ways, fishing it on the bottom and just swimming it. Um, uh, but here's the thing, uh, what I started to experiment with recently was using it as a trailer on a spinnerbait. Now the spinnerbait bite's been tough where I'm at and just the access to lakes is kind of limited right now. We can't go nowhere really except almost pretty much nowhere. So, you know, it's uh, I haven't had the chance to really experiment and see how good, but it just, it's, it's, it, it, the look is great. The profile's great, you know, on the back of a chatter bait or a spinner bait or a buzz bait or a swim jig, things like that. Now I haven't played around personally with uh, you know, I've just you know I've thrown it on uh, uh, weedless on a on a, a, a underbelly like a swim bait hook. I've thrown it on like I said with a large head, lead head, working it on the bottom, and I've also you know worked it um, you know with a swim with a uh, basically like an underspin with and without the uh, blade and uh, swam it and uh, you know it it did me really well uh, particularly for the smallmouth if you guys are smallmouth fishermen uh, I caught the second biggest smallmouth of my life on this bait right here it was over six pounds um, so it's a large smallmouth uh, for California you know it's a very large smallmouth so I'm I'm all stoked uh, you know this bait the first day I actually tried it and tied it on was the day I got that smallmouth and I, I can't remember but uh, how many casts but it wasn't even that many casts and I'm just thinking holy cow and uh, you know I mean that's the kinda thing that can happen when you got this swim bait tied on so if you guys haven't checked out this brand skinny bear Remember it. I'm going to say it one more time. Skinny Bear. I mean, they make incredibly good soft plastic swim baits. Here's the only, you know, the hiccup, the issue that I have. The issue that I have is they're very pricey. So you get like four, five, maybe six of the swim baits, and it's going to cost you like $8 plus tax, plus shipping. or You know, it just kind of gets ridiculous. Um... I like to get mine on uh, Tackle Warehouse. Now here's the deal guys. This plastic is by far, I think, uh, uh, of, every of every brand you know, of soft plastic swim baits that they're selling out there right now. I don't know if there's a softer plastic out there than this particular bait company, like this you know, swim bait, but this company's baits in general, they're very soft. The plastic rips tears and sadly uh, you know it's like you can't really do much you can catch a few fish and then it gets you know totaled 
So it's definitely great, great bait. It's just that, um, you know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, different ways to, uh, you know, I guess, uh, rig it where it doesn't take as much abuse. It just, it just, like I said, it's a uh, very sensitive, very soft, soft plastic and, you know, um, it tears very easily. So keep that in mind if you guys are going to get these and you're trying to like put them on some kind of a big keeper or some kind of a collar collars are killing you know I mean that that's gonna kill a couple of your baits right off the bat you're gonna be like oh man I can't really do that that's a you know uh, the, the plastic will just you know break break apart so um, but they're excellent they the action of the baits excellent I hope this video helps guys these are some seriously seriously um, amazing baits and it's actually really funny because on the package in the uh, upper right hand corner it actually says super soft and like that's that's not like something that they have just on the package it's like I never actually saw that till just a couple days ago and I was like thinking in my to myself this might be the softest you know soft plastic on the market you know it's just so soft and then I saw that a couple days ago and I'm thinking wow you know uh, but, um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned. We got more coming. Um, I like to talk about these companies that nobody really wants to talk about. Companies that they might be smaller, but their baits catch fish. Their baits are high quality, durable, well, mostly durable, but sometimes like this bait right here, not very durable. Uh, not very durable at all. But, uh, stay tuned, guys.